We've heard talk about Harvard Law School and military recruiting when you were a dean. And by enforcing the longstanding non discrimination policy, uh, you would provide military recruiters with access to students coordinated by the Harvard Law Veterans Association that had been successfully used for years under your pre predecessor, Dean Clark, with the approval of military recruiters and the Department of Defense. Did you ever bar recruiters for the U.S. military from access to students at Harvard Law School while you were dean? Senator Leahy, military recruiters had access to Harvard students every single day I was dean. Well, let me ask you this. Did the... Uh, did the, uh, uh, while you were there, did the number of students recruited go down at all while you were, uh, while you were dean? I, I don't believe it did, did Senator Leahy. So um, I, I'm confident that the military had access to our students and our students had access to the military throughout my entire deanship. And, and that's incredibly important because the military should have the best and brightest people it can possibly have in its forces. And, uh, and I think, you know, I, I said on many, many occasions that this was a great thing for our students to think about doing in their lives, that this is the most important and honorable way any person can serve his or her country. And I, uh, it's always been my experience also that somebody wants to join the military, they usually are pretty motivated to join the military. And uh, my youngest son joined the Marine Corps out of, uh, uh, out of high school. There weren't recruiters on the high school campus, but he was able to find uh, where the recruiter, recruiter was in downtown Burlington and walked over there and signed up. I, my wife and I are very proud of him for, for doing that. But here, there's been this implication given, that's why I wanted you to clear this up, the implication given that somehow military recruiters couldn't recruit uh, Harvard students. That was not the case, is that correct? Th that was not the case, Senator Leahy. The, the only question that ever came up, um, a a as you re stated earlier, this was a, a balance for the, the law school because on the one hand, we wanted to make absolutely sure that our students had access to the military at all times but we did have a, a very long standing, going back to the 1970s, anti discrimination policy, which, um, which said that no employer could use the Office of Career Services if that employer would not sign an, a non discrimination pledge that applied to many categories race and gender and sexual orientation and actually veteran status as well. And the military could not sign that pledge. Because of the don't ask, don't tell? Because of the don't ask, which, don't tell policy. Which the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff now says should be repealed. 